Hello friends, it's Nico here. I went ahead and put in my foundation. Now I'm just going over it and retouching it. Don't forget to set it in place with powder. Almost forgot to put in lenses beforehand. I love these lenses. I will list down below where I got them from. Now it's time for the contour. Now I will be cosplaying Xiao and like most Genshin characters, they have a really round face, but I did want to do my own version of Xiao. So I'm going to go ahead and sharp these edges and blend it in. It always helps to use fan arts or other depictions of the characters for reference if you need help on how you want the character to suit you. Now I just wanted it all to blend nicely, went over it with the lightest color in the contour palette. I do start with soft shading in the nose, I'm always scared of ruining this part so I do go light and then I keep caking up more contour, more contour and until it's thin or as thin as I want it to be. Going in with that light shade to make it stand out more, I will put a highlighter later. And now here we just want to create more dimension in the eyes, more depth, as well as under the lips. Now for Xiao's eyebrows, they are bushy. He has bushy eyebrows, um, so it's gonna be a lot to work with. Right now I'm just lightening my own color so I can go over it with his eyebrow color. Going in with a dark blue and this part right here, it's optional. Uh, I just needed to shave it off, it was driving me nuts. You don't have to. Okay, I do like to take in that color on top of it and go slowly with it. I don't want to make it look too dark, but I also want to hide my eyebrow color. Now, his eyebrows have a very odd shape and it, you know, I'm a human, so I need to make that look good in cosplay form. So right now I'm just playing around with it. I did a mess of it, but you can always fix that with some foundation or concealer. You can always fix it and then you'll go over your own foundation to make it not look too pale um, in this case I just wanted to clean it up and fix the edges here so, but I'll go over it in a moment and you'll see it'll look a lot better than it does now now the hard part is doing the same thing on the other side you might think it would be easier since you have another example but it wasn't it was actually quite challenging Carefully go over it with a sponge. Be very careful, you don't want to erase the eyebrow you worked so hard on. Um, now, continuing with the eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and create more depth here, but use another color instead of a darker color. I'm using more of a peachy brown. I always like to start with a lighter color for base. And then I go ahead and start piling colors on top. Right now, I'm using a uh, light brownish color to go ahead and create more depth here on the brow line same on the other side and just blending it in now i love xiao's makeup he does have some red eyeshadow in the corner of the eyes it makes it a little bit more fun to have cosplays or characters that have more color in and around their eyes I'm going to go ahead and blend everything together. I'm not going to put in the deep red just yet. I want to leave that for last. Right now, uh, never mind me snacking on a gummy bear. <laughs> I went in with a lighter color to go ahead and spread it more to the sides and blend it so it doesn't look like a circular shape. Go over it a couple times while I snack on a gummy. Now with the eyeshadow, uh, with a darker shade, I go ahead and shape where I want the eyeliner to be on. But as well, I'm going to blend this part with the eyeliner to make it look a little bit more natural. Now for the fun part of adding the red eyeshadow, um, I do need a new palette. So I had to add this on a couple times for it to really show. I do like to spread it all the way up to the temples. Uh, it's going to be hidden by the wig anyways, but I think it just looks nice that way. And now the most stressful part is the eyeliner. You do not have to put your finger here. I just use it as reference to 
where I want the line to end. I'm not sure if I'm alone in this, but I can't seem to put on eyeliner without at least touching a part of my face, um, even if it has no functionality whatsoever. This part was a little tricky, also optional, but I decided to draw in some of the eyelashes just because I thought it would make my eyes stand out more and I ended up liking it. I did go over and close the gap with some eyeshadow and then on top of that I used the, the red and the um, peach colored eyeshadow. I kept blending everything in until I was satisfied. I kept spreading more eyeshadow to the lower part of the lids. Add in some highlighter in the inner corners of the eyes. You can use any sparkly eyeshadow. I just really like this highlighter, but it does make your eyes pop. I also like to put some highlighter on the brow here, as well as the cheekbones and the bridge, which is the most important part because it'll really make that didn't know stand out. This part was very nerve-wracking um, for that diamond shape on his forehead. I started out with a dot and drew around that dot because otherwise if it wasn't in the middle it would bother me all day. Uh, so I did stop and think while I was doing it and then however it turned out I can always clean it off with some concealer or foundation just like I did with the eyebrows. Next time I would do the diamond right after the eyebrows because that way you don't have to pile up on so much concealer and foundation, you can just do it all at once. Honestly, I would even consider doing these two parts, the eyebrows and the diamond, before you even put foundation. I've seen people do that and I think it might even look cleaner. I don't know, I've never tried it. Now adding some blush to the nose and the upper lip here as well and under the lips as well. I love to paint on the lips and create a shape um, for him. I did want to make him some lips. I think he is a pretty boy and I don't know, I just think it suits him to have puffy lips. That's my visual of him. If you rather do a little bit less, more in the inner corners and avoid creating more lips, you can do that too. It'll still look great. Xiao is very serious and I'm not. I did want to extend the sides of my mouth to make it look more like a frown but I still kept smiling, so that's inevitable. And we are pretty much done. I did want to go ahead and um, set everything again with some more powder. Sometimes I do go over it with more foundation, but not this time. I do like his lashes. I feel like they do stand out, so I wanted to give him more lashes. These lenses were really uncomfortable. I wouldn't recommend anyone using them for a con. Here's the final look. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you liked this video and it helped you in any way. And please remember to subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye.